impact being felt today after the death of a 13 year old boy in just a horrible wreck on I-95 near Laurel last night. Moshe Moskowitz was an eighth grader who'd been enthusiastically raising money for other kids with life threatening pediatric illnesses. Today at the religious school he attended in Baltimore, there's been an outpouring of grief. Scott Broom is at the Talmudic Academy of Baltimore to tell us about this young boy. Scott. Yeah, Moshe Moskowitz was a student at the school here. His father, a rabbi and a teacher at the school, the family dedicated to community service. This is the Moshe Moskowitz people remember here, seen while completing the grueling 170 mile ride for Chaim, a bike ride this summer to raise money to support other kids with life threatening illnesses. Such a terrible loss. Rabbi Yehuda Lefkowitz spoke today for the entire Talmudic School of Baltimore community. He projected himself to anyone he came in contact with as the most happy young man. He was full of spirit. Whenever there was a project, helping to distribute foods for the needy, be it this bikeathon, whenever there was a need, this young kid has such a personal maturity that he was out there and that everybody knew it. The accident that killed Moskowitz left his mother, who's a teacher, in critical condition, and two other people in another vehicle hospitalized. I-95 North near Route 200 in Laurel was closed from 9.15 last night to 5 this morning. Moskowitz riding in a Dodge van with his mom when they got tangled in a four-vehicle pileup that included a tractor trailer, caused when an SUV broke down in a travel lane. The family were returning to Baltimore after dropping Moskowitz's older sister at Dulles for a flight to Israel where she too is involved in a service organization. People just in shock here, this family so well known, the kid uh, Moshe Moskowitz so well regarded here. He had four brothers and sisters. Again, his dad, a teacher and rabbi here at the Talmudical Academy of Baltimore. This news has spread in Israel as well and the entire family and school community now thinking about his mother who survived this wreck but who is in critical condition. They are praying for her. Reporting live in Baltimore, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. All right, Scott, thank you. And Maryland State Police continue to investigate the accident. No charges have been filed against anyone involved.